I'm obsessed with horror. I love Chucky. I'm a big fan of The Conjuring Universe. Having both the new Child's Play and Annabelle Comes Home out at pretty much the same time, ridiculously exciting for me. And I was going to do two separate reviews for both of these, but I thought, actually, since these are both creepy doll films, I thought it would be fun to do a little comparison. I will say I'm a big fan of The Conjuring Universe. I do like the Annabelle films, and I love the design of the doll. But I feel like at this stage we're really dragging our heels. So, fun fact before we begin, according to my Google searching, Annabelle had a budget of around 27 million. Chucky had a budget of only 10 million, and I will refer to Child's Play as Chucky throughout this. Um, not intentionally, just out of habit. So that's almost a third of the Annabelle budget. So from that you would expect Annabelle to be the stronger of the two films. Definitely not the case, and here is why. So first off, the narrative. This is where I thought Child's Play would actually be the weaker of the two films, because it's in a way, it's basically like the first film in the sense that the little boy, Andy, gets given this doll and then the doll goes insane and, you know, causes a lot of trouble and kills a lot of people. There won't be any specific spoilers in this video, but I will be touching on a few things that make it different and or better to the original. And I thought, well, that's basically going to be the same. How can they make it different? But actually, I think they did very well. And the reason it works really well is because the character of Andy is very likeable and you do feel for him. And he's given this body doll, and this doll is very intelligent. It's definitely been revamped for the modern world. You can plug it into your phone, there's an app for this, and it basically becomes like an AI best friend. So I thought the narrative, they did very well. It's very interesting, very different, and then they certainly worked hard on it enough to make it, while there's enough kind of retention from the original, it's certainly brand new. Annabelle, not so much. Ed and Lorraine hire a babysitter so they can go away for the night and this babysitter comes along and kind of interferes with Annabelle and suddenly Annabelle becomes evil and her powers are unleashed and she makes people scared. It takes about two thirds of the film for them to actually get to that point and for those kind of first two thirds nothing really happens but you know what's going to happen. Okay so narratives, Chucky is the clear winner. What about the fear factor? absolutely Chucky Child's Play is the more terrifying. Neither of them really terrified me but Chucky Child's Play certainly fascinated me more. It was definitely, you know, you didn't know what was going to happen. Annabelle, as I said, about two thirds of the film was setting it up. The last bit, kind of, the, it was very atmospheric. Credit where credit is due. It got the atmosphere at that point spot on. It was eerie. But the things that were being scary, the things that were causing scare, fear, I've lost my ability to speak, were not very good. It was the same as all the previous films. Ooh, we know there's something around us, but what is it? It's a little bit creepy. And then you get to see the presence, I won't spoil it, and I kind of thought, yeah, that looks a little bit intimidating, that would be frightening if I met that at night. But it was nothing unique and nothing special. Chucky is the complete opposite. Chucky, oh my goodness, I mean, they were very creative with the way that that doll killed people in this film. It's very graphic, it doesn't sugarcoat anything, and the kind of, the final scenes are very intense. But what I love most about it is that it's a complete contrast to Annabelle. So Annabelle is very atmospheric, but it's very dark, and it's the same as every other horror movie. They turn the lights down, it seems to be quite misty, nobody can really see clearly. Chucky. Charles plays the exact opposite. I can't spoil it by telling you where these final scenes take place, but I will say that it's, in contrast, bright and colourful. You can see around you. You can't always see the threat, but it's, you know, bright, wide. And that's what I love most. So Charles play is colourful, fun, charismatic, full of surprise. Annabelle Comes Home is dull, drab and lifeless. Needless to say, I preferred the new child's play. I was worried it wouldn't live up to the first, the original. I don't know if I want to say it's better than the original. I feel like they're too different. It's like comparing the original and the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. I just personally can't do that. This is probably the weakest of all of the Annabelle films, I think. I don't know if they're planning on doing another one. Somebody can let me know if you do know. I hope that either they don't because really, stop it, or they do, and it's amazing and restores my faith. If you've seen both of, them, both of these films, please let me know which you prefer, but as far as I'm concerned, Chucky Child's Play is the clear winner.